Good morning from the inside of my tent. It is May the 14th, day 65 on the Appalachian. Y-O-L-O. Saturday morning at 7 a.m. 2022. So I uh, night hiked last night. Uh, I was heading for a shelter, but then again, uh, the shelter was 0.3 miles off the trail, and that was 0.3 I wasn't willing to give up. So that would have been over a half a mile around trip. So I decided just to hike on. My feet were feeling good, and I spoke to my wife and my emotional state was pretty good so I just plugged on last night into the uh, the rain. I figured I was already wet so I wasn't going to get much wetter. Uh, so I just continued on. Uh, the problem is we're in the Shenandoah National Forest now so this is almost like another city. So trying to figure out how this city works. Well what I figured out so far was uh, there's, there's not many uh, camping sites uh, along the way. So even though the tent sites aren't marked on the map, there's usually some place to bed down uh, at a roadside or off the road or something like that, but that doesn't seem to be the case uh, for the Shenandoah so far at least. So I've passed a couple roads. Uh, you would think there would be some flat spots, but uh, if they're flat, they're covered with briars and down trees and everything like that so I don't know if that's part of the the maintenance of uh, the trail club uh, is to not do that so we're not camping all over but we're just camping at the shelter area but uh, it was dark so I couldn't really tell but I did look uh, I could have camped on like a service road but it was all gravel and rock and uh, it was almost like a stream was running down it as well I did uh, get to the parkway again and uh, looked around. It was level, but it's out in plain sight and there's some rules or something about camping away from a road and a stream and all those different things that uh, I haven't really looked at yet. I just glanced at, but uh, I just kept going. And I was like, well, if I don't find something real near, the trailhead here I will just go back and camp in the grass at the park uh, what what's the most they can do is find me so I uh, I did find a, a pretty suitable flat spot and then I walked a little bit further into the woods and I found a patch that was uh, pretty nice so that's where I'm sitting and I'm getting ready to pack up everything is wet and damp I think today is the last day of the rains and the storms I'll have to check on that again, but uh, hopefully after this will be dry and I can get my sleeping bag dry, my tent dry, and I won't be carrying all this extra weight. And my socks dry again, my shoes. But uh, I put my clothes on this morning. Uh, my shirt is uh, pretty damp. Uh, and now I've got to put on the rest of the damp clothes, the socks and everything. So. Anyway, let me uh, get packed up and head down the trail, but this is the inside of my tent. I did uh, pick up a, um, a chocolate fudge pie from Kroger yesterday. This bad boy has like 700 calories, or I'm sorry, 470 calories per uh, slice. So I had a slice last night basically for supper I uh, didn't cook or anything uh, and then uh, this morning I had a slice as well for breakfast I was planning on having uh, corn chowder uh, in a can that I carried out from Kroger yesterday but I wasn't going to cook at uh, 1030 at night so uh, hopefully I'll stop a little bit sooner tonight and have that and just have some hearty food instead of tortilla wraps or something like that but all right i'm gonna get packed up and start heading down the trail i'll talk to you guys later well this is the tent site that i got last night it's uh pretty smooth 
It looks like someone had already pushed off the uh, trees and everything. I didn't realize I was so close to the parking lot last night, which is probably 40 yards away from the tent, uh, but it's a roundabout way to get up here. Uh, the trail is uh, like right here. So I will just have to walk. Uh, it looks like there's a little path right here and get on the trail and start heading north. So let me uh, get this wet tent packed up and uh, hopefully today I can get it out and let it dry so I'm not carrying that extra weight and I won't have to put it up wet this evening. So, all right, let me uh, get packed up and get out of here. See this little guy? How are you doing, little guy? Stunned. You look a little wet. Yeah. Let me get you off the trail a little bit. Oh. Poor guy's dead. Alright. Well. Sorry little guy. Let me uh, move you off trail. Nobody bother you. I see a lot of these on the trail. Try not to step on them. All right. Let's roll on. Sun is trying to come out through the clouds. Now that we're in the Shenandoah Valley uh, and it's daylight, and I think we're getting more into the interior, there are several spots that are somewhat flat that you can uh, tent on. Here's another one. Anyway, so maybe I just didn't give Shenandoah a good rap uh, last night because I couldn't find the spot because it was mountainy and a lot of vegetation. So, like, there's a spot right here that you could easily clear and put a tent. Uh, obviously, if you got a hammock, there's plenty of trees. You just got to find the right tree spacing. Anyway. Poor little bunny, I thought he was alive and just so stunned, but I placed him off the trail so nobody else will bother him. So, poor little guy. I didn't see any scarring or anything, so I'm sure he didn't die of freezing, but something. The trail is uh, fairly smooth so far. It's been some uphills. But uh, there's been these little rocks, but not uh, like we've experienced in the past. So might be able to make some mileage without shredding feet. Last night when I took my socks off, uh, my feet were uh, just soaked and saturated. Uh, I don't want to say emaciated, but I don't think that's the right word. But I just dish pan hand for being in. Uh, wet socks all day so before I uh, put my socks on this morning I put a, a petroleum product on them to help put a little barrier on there so I used a product I carry called Aquaphor which is sort of like a medicated Vaseline petroleum jelly and just rub that into my feet uh, because my socks are wet uh, my shoes are wet Hopefully they'll dry out today, but at lunch I'll take uh, my socks and shoes off and let them air out again. If the sun comes out, I will get my tent out and let it dry out. Everything right now is uh, wet and sort of muddy or nasty uh, because of the black uh, soil that we're on.
Might even get some trail magic today, I'm hoping, at some point. There's a lot of parking lots. So with a lot of parking lots, it uh, gives a better chance. I do hear some people, I don't know if they're hikers. See a road, hey, come on. I see a tent. <laughs> oh my goodness, <clears throat> there's trail magic, thank you Jesus. Hiker up. Here. It is. Look at this trail magic right here. Are you guys good with being on YouTube? This is a Boy Scout Troop 555. Thank you. Are you guys good with being on YouTube? All right. So coming across the, the highway here, or the road, uh, we got uh, Boy Scout Troop 555 from Mechanicsville, Virginia. Would you guys mind just introducing yourself? Steve Witt, Scoutmaster. And uh, what are you guys doing and why are you doing it? This is a trail magic. All right, and uh, we're here because we've hiked this section and there's no water between Half Mountain and Black Rock. All right, so. so that's where we, the reason we're setting up here. Well, we really appreciate it uh, and uh, just have the opportunity to just have some goodness so right. thank you very much thank you uh boy scouts thank you very much so you've also got an amateur radio set up down here if you're interested in that so uh, all right so he's, uh, he's playing with his amateur radio system. all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop video so i can get uh, a beverage so sure, thank absolutely. you very much please do sign our sign our guest book yes sir yeah so i'm yolo which, uh, do you guys know what that stands for? You only live once. You only live once. So that's a good thing. So you live once, you die twice. So just think about that. Uh, so uh, check out my YouTube channel. You can go to YouTube and just search for YOLO Hiker. And now I'll pull up, all right? So, all right, guys, we're leaving the Trail Magic. The Boy Scout Troop 555 from Mechanicsville, Virginia. They got a ham radio set up. And then also um, just providing food so for a light breakfast, early lunch, uh, two hot dogs, Gatorade, bag of chips, and two Reese cups. So back on trail now. So that's uh, Boy Scout Troop 555 from Mechanicsville, Virginia. It's much appreciated. They're going to be there today and uh, part of tomorrow, which is... Uh, Sunday, so they'll probably pull out at noon on Sunday. Head back to Mechanicsville, Virginia. So, thank you very much, Boy Scout Troop 555. It was good talking to you guys. And good luck uh, on your Eagle Scout projects, uh, kayak, and uh, what was the other one? The kayak uh, pier, and then uh, Grant. Let me get back hey guys, to you. guys, I'm hiking down the trail. I just uh, was blessed with uh, Boy Scout Troop 555 with the trail magic on the road. So um, as I'm hiking on down the trail, I run into a couple of people. Uh, one doesn't want to be on camera. So, <laughs> but uh, who are you guys and what are you guys doing? So I'm Mary and I'm hiking with my husband, Charles. Who's uh, not on camera? We're here in, uh, we live here in Madison County. Uh, love nature, love hiking, and as always, uh, to us, this is our you know, playground. Okay. Um, we were blessed to, you know, get, you know, see you here on the on the trail, and so glad we did. Uh, always good to see a through hiker because uh, if I could do that, I would do it in a heartbeat. But I'm because of him. Yes. <laughs> she cannot. So. But uh, I'm glad that everybody, you know, is able to do it. At least, you know, I see it as for me anyways. 
and I love talking to through hikers because I kind of learn something, you know, from them. Um, but again, it was a blessing to have met you, Yolo, and I will keep, you know, keep on. Uh, I, I hope everything goes well for you. I wish you the best luck. I know you would do it, and I will look you up on YouTube. All right. Keep, keep, <laughs> oh, I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day hiking and enjoy each other's company. All right, guys, you just saw that slide. I am struggling getting up this mountain. It is just a long, uh, long, straight uphill. And I am sweating. I keep having to take breaks. It's just, there's no switchbacks or anything. It's just uh, uphill. I think it's uh, two miles all the way. And it's just basically one straight run. So this thing really sucks. I don't know if it's because I didn't eat supper last night and I don't have that reserve fuel in my body. I've eaten two hot dogs, two sandwiches on tortillas, uh, Snickers bar, Gatorade, uh, some various other stuff so I don't know I just don't have the energy it's uh seems like it's all uphill let me see if I can clean this lens off real quick I don't think that made a difference but anyway anyway uh just struggling I feel like I'm the only one out here today although I know there's one other guy ahead of me unless he stopped at the shelter I think the group has uh, the bubble. I don't know if I'm in front of the bubble. I think I am. But uh, I've only one, seen one through hiker all day today. And it's 3.15 p.m. And that was, um, uh, yeah, Spock, I think is his name. He's from Indianapolis, Indiana. And I ran into him several days ago in one of the little podunk towns where I got a ride from Wendy. But anyway, this thing sucks. I am out of breath. There's no view. I see traffic every once in a while. Because we're uh, in the Shenandoahs. I think this is a national park, so you have to pay to get in. It is Saturday. I've seen a, whew, several Harleys. I've heard them. But anyway, all right. I'm rambling. I just got to get on top of this mountain. All right, guys, we're up on top. We got uh, this boulder field. But they have cleared a path and put smaller stones, so that's nice. Let's see if uh, the trail takes us up on the top of this. Oh, there's a view for you. The city. And there. Let's get to the top of this and see what we, what we can find. That thing uh, just kicked my butt. Luckily, I just took a break for about 10 minutes and I uh, got a little revitalized by talking to a young couple, explaining to them what I'm doing, where I'm going, how long I've been doing it, that type of thing. So, it looks like a blue blaze. We're gonna check this out at least to see if it's a the white blaze. Surely to goodness that's not it. We don't see any markings. May have to check the app to see if we're still on. Oh we got a wonderful view right here. Yeah, 
me then. This is what Mount Katahdin is going to be like. All right, let me uh, check for a white blaze. I uh, definitely don't see anything. I don't want to be uh, running around not knowing where I'm going and wasting mileage. You sit here on this rock and take a chill. All right, you guys have a great day. All right, guys, we're heading on. I checked the uh, map and this is the White Blaze. Uh, pretty amazing rock pile. Just amazing that uh, just all of a sudden it's all these rocks and they're not, it's just like God just like took a wheelbarrow and just dumped them out and poured them down the mountain. It's pretty amazing. All right, so now we're going down for a little while, that is. Uh, so, and it's a little cooler over here too. So, I'm not sure if I uh, just wore out because I don't uh, have any reserve in my gut. Now I might be repeating myself, I'm not really sure. But uh, I did hike until 10.30 last night and time I got in the tent and everything it was probably 11 and then uh, I did not have supper because I thought it was too late to cook something so I went to bed without any supper the punishment now uh, so I don't have any of that energy or reserves in my stomach in my gut uh, so that might be why I'm a little low on energy uh, but like I said earlier I've had quite a bit of food today but sure my body hasn't been able to process it into energy so I guess the rule of thumb is always eat supper and then the uh, humidity is up a little bit today as well but now this is flat and it is angled downhill very slightly I just got to keep uh, in mind that uh, my feet may slip out from underneath me with the mud I might uh, hit an angle and uh, go flopping on my tush. That's what you guys would want to see, I'm sure. Get a muddy tush, muddy backpack. All right, let's get uh, making some miles going down here. Well, this weather can't decide what it wants to do. So just a few minutes ago, it was sunny out. It started uh, sprinkling a little bit, so I went in, took my pack off, and got my umbrella back out, and just got it ready. And then I deployed it, and then it started pouring down. So my uh, socks and shoes that were once dry are now wet again, and the winds are blowing, just making it colder, especially on my right arm, which is uh, not covered as much by the umbrella. But anyway, this is the current situation. It is cold and rainy. All right, this is literally a few inches deep. wonder how bad my uh, feet will be pruned up since I put that petroleum jelly on it this morning. The uh, aquaphor. Alright, I'm getting pelted. The uh, trail is just a uh, a creek 
at this point. You can hear the rain hitting the umbrella. I'm staying fairly dry except for my right uh, forearm and elbow up to my shoulder because that's where uh, the umbrella doesn't cover. And if it does cover, it's very minimum. So at this point, there's no need to try to keep my feet dry or my socks dry because this is uh, gonna be happening for a little while. And I can only walk like a duck, bow-legged or hop, hopscotching. Uh, on both sides of the trail for so long so this is it I'll just uh, suck it up I don't know if you guys can see or not but I don't know if it's my screen yeah but it's just a flowing river all the way down it's 4 405 p.m. So if it does stop, it may uh, stop long enough for me to get my shoes somewhat dried out if it warms back up a little bit. But I was just uh, talking to you about the heat and the uh, humidity. Well, I guess this is 100% humidity at its finest. So, All right, let me put my phone away and just uh, keep walking. Because this is just roaring. There's a parking lot. I think this is the Appalachian Trail. Once again, they don't mark it very well at these intersections. I'm assuming it's this way since it's straight, but I'm making assumptions. This is the Shenandoah, Shenandoah National Forest, the park. It's all green. You can see maybe the clouds coming over this ridge, blowing in. I'm gonna try to stay at the uh, campground. I'm gonna try to see if I can finagle someone to uh, share a spot with me for uh, camping because I do not want to pay because I'm frugal uh, for a camp spot. And then uh, also I'll go ahead and take a shower, I guess, and take a shower with my shoes and socks. Uh, they're already wet. So hurt them anymore they're not gonna dry anyway so I will just go ahead and take a uh, shower and do a little bit of uh, hiker laundry in the bath uh, hopefully they got warm water and uh, figure out what I'm gonna do but once again I'm out here looking around for the blaze and I do not see anything so I want to just keep walking I did see something over by a tractor it, uh, I don't know if it's a blaze or just a marker, but well, here's a path here, so I'm gonna guess that this is the AT. Here's the marker that I was talking about. And there's nothing over here, although right here's a, a blaze, but it's sort of hard to see with that lichen on the trees. So let's uh, get back on the trail. I think the uh, campground is two miles. So it is five after, it's 10 after five now. So right around six o'clock, I should be arriving. That's at uh, two miles an hour. It's a little foggy out. I don't know if they have laundry service at this campground or not. If they do, that wouldn't hurt to uh, do a load of laundry. And just wearing my rain gear 
until the laundry gets done. Go ahead and get some uh, super clean socks and super clean underwear and shirts. So I don't know if that'll happen or not. There's really no need to do laundry if uh, this is gonna be the forecast for tomorrow. But I think today's the last day if I recall. But then again, who really knows? Cause the weather man, weather person doesn't. All right, keep hiking north. So here in the Shenandoah, these uh, cairns are actually the markers. And then uh, we're heading to Loft Mountain Campground. And then they have stamped. Point two mile. Coming up to the campground. About fifteen foot away. How you doing, buddy? Hey guys, uh, we're uh, I'm at the campsite right off the Appalachian Trail, and uh, this family has been so kind and uh, this is so nice to uh, make me a cheeseburger and some fries, and she also made me a sandwich for tomorrow to go and give me some dessert. So, would you guys just mind telling me who you are and? where you're from and what you guys do every year here? Yeah, um, well, I'm Susie, and we're all from Frederick, Maryland, and Scott, Helen. We live in, we live in Maryland, in the country. And we camp, what are, how many times a year do we camp here in Here, oh, like four or five or six. Yeah, so we're, about three, we're about three hours away. Dude, it's just so wonderful. You can travel so much further. Well, I truly appreciate it uh, taking me in and invite me over for a, a cheeseburger and uh, a drink. So I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Anytime, buddy.